Hello my angels and devils and all who may wonder here. I'm Amanda Christina. This is Heavenly Imaginings and this is my, I guess, first big, ridiculously expensive, even at 25% off, graphic 45 haul. Now the first thing I'm going to say is because this was craft online and I did do this um, when they had it so that you got, you had to have, you have to spend $100 to use Afterpay. So I had to pad out my order so I grabbed some of the Poppy Crafts 240 GSM 50 sheets and that's eight dollars um, and I grabbed two packs of 350 GSM um, yeah um, oh okay that's 250 I thought that was I okay I grabbed the wrong one there but the black uh, packs of 20 and these were four dollars a piece um, this was just to pad out my order so I hit the $100 mark and because you can always use thicker cardstock for different projects. Now I have just recently gotten a whole lot of these and sort, been sorting my papers into them. So this is the Graphic 45 Princess Collection which I, I wasn't going to do this and then they had 25% off and I just I had a moment where I could not stop myself from buying it so I bought it. And I'm going to do this. This is part of a new series on my channel that I'm going to try and do, which is called um, From Haul to the Last Scrap. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go through. I don't know if I'll do everything on screen, on camera as such, but I will be showing you the projects. I'll be doing some projects with tutorials and stuff. Um, and we'll be going through and using this whole collection until there is nothing left. Um, it might take me six months. It might take me a year. I don't know how long it'll take because I have other projects I need to do first, but I just thought it would be a really interesting project to do, and because I don't normally buy a whole collection. Um, this is only something I've gotten into recently because I'm starting to realise the value of having everything and, and, and how much it helps your projects and elevates them and stuff. So I got the chipboard. Um, now, these were before the 40% off. Uh, stickers. Chipboard was $8.99. Um, and then I have the stickers, which I also got in the collection pack. Had I known that, I probably wouldn't have bought the extra sheet. These were $7.99, as were the tags and pockets. So, so I should have probably pulled all this out before we started, but that's okay. Um, so I bought the uh, tag, the ephemera, journaling and ephemera cards, and these are gorgeous. Like if you wanted to just buy one thing, you could really do a lot with the journaling and ephemera cards because you get two of each, and they do have journaling spots, but the ephemera cards to me I think are just much. Oh, you get three of each, that's right. So, yeah, you get, if the crown fits, these are just absolutely I don't know what it is. Why does Graphic 45 smell weird if the crown fits in the... You get two to three, so it depends, I guess. Postcard once upon a time with that. And then you get the bigger ones. So you get the princess. With that. Yeah. So you get two of each. So I really think if you were in love with a collection but you couldn't really afford the paper, I would definitely say grab yourself the cards because looking at these you could easily make an album out of just the cards alone um, once upon a time I do like the once upon a times but yeah so there's there's definitely enough to work with if you didn't have like if I was on a budget like because I know that the paper pad these are eleven dollars which is still really pricey <laughs> um, but if you can if, if you're looking at what can I do and what can I use these you can use as paper and as journaling cards so to me they would be the thing to grab because you can fussy cut and you can do a lot with these now the the 8x8 pad was $17.99 as I said this was before the 25% off uh, the 25% off everything I got came to $28.12 off. So then you get the 8x8, which has the 
roses and you get three of each sheet in this and I've never done this before with graphic graphic 45 this is new to me um, just getting a whole collection but when they had 25% off I genuinely could not not do it <laughs> I tried to stop myself um, and I am just lucky I had good news recently I I got put on DSP so I've got disability that that opens up a whole lot of other things next thing I've got to sort of try and do is apply for apply for NDIS which is how you get funding for things like community transport and help with medical and stuff like that so that's the next thing on my agenda so we're just okay so it's three of each let me and then we get some cutter parts here as well and the thing Graphic45 graphic do is they give you some tags and stuff that you can cut out on the cover. So that is the 8x8. Then I grabbed a couple of extra of the cutter parts for the 12x12. And actually, looking at these, these look very similar to the pack of cutter parts. So I probably could have... Oh, actually, no, because you don't get the, necessarily get the smaller ones. But, yes, you could easily buy some sheets of this instead of buying the cutter parts to work with in an album. I also grabbed the coordinating. Now, as I said, for me, this was a big mega splurge. I don't know what I was thinking, but I really wanted to try working with all this stuff together. So this is the 12 by 12 patterns and solids. It's 16 sheets, which I don't think Graphic 45 represents the best. It's good quality. But it, honestly, feeling this, it's about, it's probably just a smidge thicker than Kayser quality. So you get a couple of sheets of each um, to coordinate with the range. And I did do an order recently where I did grab some of their flowers just because I wanted to have, I, I'm trying to step out of my comfort zone at, with crafting and, you know, not always go for the bargain things. <laughs> so I'm trying to, uh, that's sort of been my thing this year is, if, when things are on special to grab the things I really love and want to work with um, and I just thought working with Graphic 45 has always been something really challenging to me like I have a Nutcracker Suite um, 8x8 and some chipboard and I've still got it because one I hoard it but two it is very hard for me to use it all up and then we've got just a plain and then we have like some pockets and things if you wanted to cut those out and use those to make although some of these are things that you if you didn't want to cut them out of the paper you could do that and I kind of like that the back has a glossy version of one of the pieces that you can use and then we come to the collection pack now I think I'd prefer to get the paper pads but they don't really have them and when they do there Yowchie. Okay, so the collection pack was $24.99. Now, the other reason that made me sort of do this when it was 25% off was all of these were already discounted. So, again, we have another lot of the stickers, which I'm sure will come in handy. And then we have the collection pack, which is two of each of eight designs. So, 16 sheets of paper, which when you look at the fact that we get 48 sheets of Kayser between $10 and $15 when it's on Super Special uh, in a, and 48 sheets... Um, yeah, but it's Graphic 45 and you do pay for the fact that it is Graphic 45 and that's okay. So you have this beautiful princess sheet with the background. So what I've done is I've, this is the same as the smaller pad, some cutter parts. Again, I'm sure I, I've already flipped these so that they were easy to show. I have other stuff that I have bought recently. I haven't really been into filming all my hauly stuff lately, um, I will do some flip throughs and stuff, but I may not haul everything, even even stuff I've bought recently, because I kind of went on a bit of a splurge of a woohoo hoo kind of I'm spoiling myself splurge, <laughs> like I haven't spoilt myself in a long time. So these are just such beautiful papers, and I can definitely see using them um, in many different projects. I already have a few different ideas. So that is the Graphic 45 Princess Collection, and that is my... How much did I spend? $100.56, so I got it right on the afterpay amount for that, so um, it was just over $25 a fortnight. Um, for anyone in the USA who doesn't know what afterpay is, it's a way of being able to buy something now and split the payments into 
for fortnightly payments, so for two weekly payments. Um, so it will divide the total amount into four. It's very helpful. It's helped me get a lot of stuff when I've needed it or wanted it. And yeah, so this is, as I said, the Graphic 45 Princess Collection. Let me know what you think below. I know that my friend Fiona Jane already has some of this collection. Um, but yeah, so um, to let me know what you think about the idea of From Hall to the last scrap as a as a um as a series on this channel anyway i will talk to you soon my angels and devils remember as always you are amazing you are incredible and you truly do matter bye all